Yeah, I pulled out a pencil and shoved him up against the wall. Uh, then tried to fight me back, and I accidentally stabbed him in the eye. What is up guys, it is me Classy and welcome back to a brand new video. Alright, so today it is finally story time with Classy and Sierra as your hosts. Everyone knows Sierra as my sister and uh, today we are just going to be doing this. As you can tell, yes, we do have Star Trek Online gameplay. I am going to, however, turn down the audio... Uh, overall, because I do not want any copyright claims for any sounds or music, if anything like that happens. So, today, uh, we're going to have a few stories. Uh, so, we're going to start with me. Uh, no, no, you know, we're going to start with Sierra. So, no, we're not. Um, we're going to start with you. No, Sierra, come on. No, you can go first. Oh, no, I insist. <laughs> All right, no, you know, I Flakes, insist. you go first. <laughs> yeah, what? Flakes, what? You go Flakes, first. you go first. So Everyone's my quiet. story has to deal with deal with my in my journeys. Oh goodness. <sighs> okay, before I tell the story, do everyone do not laugh, okay? Because this is an embarrassing story for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! He already laughing. So let's start. Let's start off when I, I was a little boy. Left left off. Jesus Christ! Little flakes. Can I start? Okay. Yes, you can start. So You've been it waiting. has to start off with. As when I was a little boy, I used to oh always God, have these we go. like scary dreams, and like <laughs> I don't like. I was like, "Oh my God, why is this for me so much?" Like freaking, oh my God, here we go. So every scary dream that I had it had to do with tickling. Like every monster, was me. that was very scary. Okay, <laughs> I swear. Like every like Jason freaking uh, ghost face like. Were they what tickling is, you? Is, hold, is, hold on, hold on, Flakes, 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 because we want everyone to finish their stories. Continue, folks. All right, yes, so yes. Uh, continue. Yeah. Okay. Is that, is that hey, it? So I had so one dream. Freaking. Okay, who has was, that was thing Jason going dream. on in the background? I swear. It's very loud. Okay, continue, Flakes. I, I, I passed my turn. That's all I had to say. Okay. Uh, next, Houdini. Well, I'm the oldest one here, so I have a lot of stories. Go, go ahead. Oh boy, which one is thine for second elder? Well, uh, well, let's see. All right, I got one. I got one. A little embarrassing, but uh, you guys will get over it really quick. All right, so when I was in my uh, sophomore year of high school, which, believe it or not, was all the way back in 06, uh, I, try, I was in marching band, of course. Uh, my freshman year, I played the mellophone. It was too heavy for me. I had asthma, so I couldn't really march and blow the mellophone at the same time. So I decided to try out for color guard. And in case you don't know what flag guard are, those are those people that twirl the flags around. You can all laugh now. That's quite you manly. Cannot. Oh, yeah. Considering I was the only one in the school history to sit. But anyway, my sophomore year, I tried out for it. Uh, sophomore year went okay. I was learning the basics, getting to know it. And then next year comes around, I do it again. Well, my junior year, I did it again, and I was trying out for color guard captain. And 
And I ended up tripping over a flagpole and cracking my wrist. Oh, that's fun. On the manoleum floor in the cafeteria. And at first, I didn't even know it was broken. But then I'm just like, hey, can you hand me a flag? And I tried to twirl it, and my whole wrist just went limp. And the flagpole actually went soaring in the air and caused a power outage. In the cafeteria, so the whole cafeteria went dark. <laughs> wow. By the way, guys, do forgive me if the um, gameplay is a little bit laggy. It is because I have the graphics all the way turned up for wonderful quality, I think. But uh, I, I'm you doing think it's my best. quality? So uh, anyway, so, so after after the power went out, um, I had called my mom to come get me because at that point I knew my wrist was broken. Oh wow, <laughs> that ended fast. Um, and you also and so um, yeah, I also got suspended for like three days for disconnecting power to the lunchroom. But you tripped. Uh, I did trip. Uh, you that were was suspended? After the, fact, the fact will crack my wrist. I didn't know it. I was suspended for three days. Lucky. And I still Lucky. had to make up the work. So, flash forward to my <laughs> senior year, I actually get Color Guard Captain. Um, <laughs> everything goes fine there, and I actually lead our Color Guard to the top in the state Microphone for both activated. Winter Guard and Summer Guard. What state? I don't know whether Michigan. to applaud you or to laugh. <laughs> it's stupid that they suspended you. It really is. Oh, they suspended me for causing school damage. But, I mean, it was an oh, action, can you invite me to the bridge again? I no, I, I'm, I'm not on the bridge. But, but I didn't have to fight. pay for it. I didn't have to pay for it. Oh, oh not me? Okay. Right. Can I get now, guys? Oh, wait. Well, I, oh, right. Ew. Sorry, Golden. I, the axis. Wait. And now my story is over. All right, so um, this is gonna be the story about the time I stabbed a kid. Um, oh my god! Uh, in middle school, all right. Uh, was so it with a protractor? I was in eighth grade, middle schooler. Um, uh, so I always carry around a pencil with me at school <laughs> because, you know, I it's a pretty, pretty bad the school. Well, I, like I, 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 I mean. The school, what, don't you have to carry? Um, yeah, but I mean, I carry around a pencil as a shank. I make okay. sure it's always sharp, and I use a pen to write. The reason why I stab people with the pencil is because of the lead. Um, but just ignore that part. Uh, so, there was uh, kids that always, like, did this joke, which was, like, it wasn't even a joke. It wasn't, like, funny. They just licked their hands and put it in my face. Because it was like, it would always like piss me off, you know? Language, this get is off. a family friendly channel. Wait, what oh, did I say? Um, P.O.'d. Okay, so they did it to make me P.O.'d. O'd. You can just pretend that's pooed. Um, class, you have editing stuff, right? Yeah. Oh, they made it seem okay, like they cool. had doo-doo on there. So, um, <laughs> yeah, uh, so, people would lick their hands and put it in my face, and this happened with, like, lots of people did that, because they thought it was funny. Um, yeah, I told one kid that if he kept doing it, I was probably going to stab him eventually. Um, one time, in geometry, uh, not geometry, algebra. In algebra, when he did it, um, yeah, I pulled out a pencil and shoved him up against the wall, uh, then tried to fight me back, and I accidentally stabbed him in the eye. Oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> but I didn't get in trouble with the teacher because she was fine with it. This what? is like a confessional <laughs> now. Oh my. I'm no oh fucking god. Now one right what? now. Oh, uh, my... uh, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 okay. Well, um, anyone else have anything before me and Sierra? Yeah, I have I something, do. but it's pretty boring. Okay, Seth. Alright, so this is the story about how I broke my foot in um, my junior year oh, goodness. of high school. Was it my Yeah, I think it was my junior year. Old people problems. Uh, so, yes, I'm very old. 
83 to be exact. Holy crap. <laughs> I had flanks in my 83. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> oh, wow. It seems like... It seems like <laughs> flakes... Um, like only 83. Classy. Hey. It seems what? like flakes was just frosted. Who knows what's coming? Fine. Alright, so... We're in my Spanish class, right? And we're trying to... We were doing some dumb contest where... We would, like, write something on a sticky note and, like, put it on the wall. Well, we ran out of space on the wall, so we were going to put it on the window. User right, so whoever could jump channel. the highest and then put it on the window, you know, one or whatever. It's just a, it's just a game to pass time type deal. So, <sighs> kid goes before me, he does it, you know, all fine. So I go to do Golden, it. How dare you decline that? Preview. And I jump up, right? I game. jump, I jump up to put the sticky note as high as I can on the window, and when I come down, my foot gets caught. Like you know how school have like the heaters under the window <laughs> no and so my foot brushes against that like gets stuck on the side of it and twists underneath it as i came down and so i just think that's a kind of a that's like the worst way to break your foot it was putting a sticky note on the window <laughs> <laughs> that's why like if I, if I had not tried to put a literally a sticky note on the window i would not have a broken foot and yeah, that sucks man yeah, and, and I walked away. And you're 83 too. Yeah, I'm 83 actually. 83 months old. <laughs> <laughs> you see, Flakes, you disappoint me because you actually believe that. <laughs> no, of course I sound 83. You should know I'm 83. We've been friends for almost 56 years now. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Was that 5.6? I don't know. I can't tell the difference anymore. I'm getting old. Living that old life, yeah. I'm getting old, mate. Hey, did okay. they have Kuwait commercials back then? Golden, you uh, you ready to it's pretty, tell it, yours? It's pretty boring. I don't care. But, Golden, accept this Federation fleet alert, by the way. Well, Golden, you can do it. Yeah, so I was riding my bike to my friend's house, usual stuff and everything, because I always go, go to his house like probably like once a day. To like probably go in the woods and stuff. So when I was going down, he he has a mountain called Suey Hill, and when I was going, yeah, he lives like by the brick. And if you like mess up or anything on a bike or anything, by the creek. Yeah, by the by creek. the creek. And you, creek. Yeah, and you could possibly die and everything. It's it's a possibly possibly die and so, everything. So <laughs> you could possibly die. So my brakes weren't working when I was going down the hill, right? And so, so I the speeds there, they're they're pretty small and everything. I I was just like in, trying to trying to crash into the tree since my brakes weren't working. I was trying to stub my foot <laughs> in the ground, and I I turned sideways. I hit I hit the tree. I I just bounced right off. And I, I broke my left wrist and and everything. I got some bruises, but it ain't that. That's basically pretty much it. And I went to the hospital. Oh my god! That. <laughs> Dude, that would've been so funny if I was there. I would've started laughing. I'm sorry. I can take a picture of it. I can take a picture of Suey Hill. <laughs> like, this is Golden. Though, this I just want to know why. <laughs> well, it was a, it was a daily this? thing. It was a daily thing. Uh, okay. Well, I'm gonna save my story for last. Sierra, you go now. I don't want to go. You go. No, Sierra, you literally need okay, to go okay, because yeah. my okay. story okay. is like This the is the dryer in the woods experience, okay? Okay, so this is kind of a, a very scary thing, and I can help with this story. Scary. Okay. It was because it was scary. Be quiet. Okay. Jesse so, Unaga? Like I said, this was a dryer in the woods experience, okay? It, it was a bright, sunny day. Alabama weather. It, it was a beautiful day. Okay, <laughs> me and my and me and Tyler's edgy friends decided we would go into the woods. My edgy friends. On the side of our house. Last I edgy. recall, they were your edgy friends too. Why do you sound so angry, like saying this story? <laughs> <laughs> me and Tyler went into the okay, woods. Okay. Matthew, okay. So we walk into the woods. Okay, we were like a little bit into the woods. Okay, and um. 
We stumbled upon a dryer, just like a random dryer that had clothes in it, okay? And so, we walked past it, okay? Not looking, our innocent minds are not thinking that there's gonna be something wrong with the dryer. <laughs> okay, so, um, <laughs> okay, um, so yeah, we passed the dryer and everything, but we looked back suddenly, it and there was a handwriting. <laughs> There was a what? On the dryer. There was a bloody handprint, okay? And so, some dude, we dared this dude to uh, get a stick and open it. Microphone and, um, activated. he did. And so, we ran out of the woods screaming. And no moon knows there was not a body in there, sadly. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, I'm just kidding. Um, no. That would Shut have up. been lit. So, so we, we, <laughs> we ran out of the woods screaming, bloody murder. Because there could have been a murder. Okay, but there, I don't think there was, I don't know what it was, okay, but there was just like a red hand and we thought it was blood, so we ran out of the woods screaming, but the funny part, okay, so the same friend, I don't know if it was a pain, but we had the, one of my, uh, the same friend that went with us, we went to my room, okay, and we, she showed me Super Bass by Nicki Minaj, and I was so, <laughs> no, no, I was so freaked out that day, like, I couldn't listen to Super Bass by Nicki Minaj for like, three or four years, because I was so scared. Why? That's a sexy song. I don't know, <laughs> because it like reminded me of that day, and it was really scary. But that Ow! was the Such woods and the dryer. I mean, <laughs> the dryer and the woods experience. Good okay. story, I know. Okay. By the way, guys, I'm sorry for the interruption. Earlier, Matthew randomly came <laughs> out of the bathroom and started screaming, <laughs> "Hail Hitler!" So <laughs> I'm probably going to have to um, either cut that out or leave that in there. But I don't um, want to leave it in that. there. Because, I mean, well, I well, I, no, I, I muted the mic, but the uh, the recording stuff picked it up. Oh, uh, cool. Wait, so you ended recording? No, nah, <laughs> I didn't end the recording, but I might have to edit out part of Sarah's story or Golden's story. I can't remember whose story it was. <laughs> just okay, guys, just so like, now it's time for day, my story. Yay. Your story. I requested the story, by the way. I have to take credit for this because I said he should tell it. Okay, so, um, we were cleaning out my brother's trailer, okay, and, um, well, he used to live in, a, in a, and it was a very nice trailer, it really was, it was, it was a beautiful trailer, to be a trailer. I so, the bad trailers. Um, it, it ends up being a very interesting experience, because I come across a box that has tape around it. Saying, do not touch. No, 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 no. It was duct tape, mind you. It just wasn't so. It yeah, wasn't but, like but, some different kind but of tape. he didn't. It was he like didn't duct just tape. like it wasn't on the top of the box to close it. It was, however. Um, can someone read to me what Munoz is saying? Because if he doesn't stop spamming the chat, I'm. Oh, about that's, to kick uh, that's it's dude Munoz. and Munoz. <laughs> okay. Seth just says he touched the butt. Also, Seth said he touched the butt. Now, as as I was saying, um, so this this story is very very interesting because um, this box held something very dear to my older brother, very dear. <laughs> uh, well, let's just say comments? I opened it and it uh, well, um, similar. I will say similar, okay, so uh, in, in, in the box, we had ended up finding, um, I ended up finding a thong, cheetah uh, handcuffs that had, like, cute little <laughs> cheetah print on it, okay, um, and, and, and multiple other things of the nature that User disconnected was from your creepy. channel. And sexual. Mm -hmm. And yes, I think there was even a condom in there. I don't know if it was used. I couldn't see in the box that well because I, I go, Brandon, what is this? And then he, he takes and grabs the box out of my hands. It was Britney, so. And I mean, he, he rips it out of my hands. User joined your channel. So, uh, any, anyways, <laughs> anyway, anyways, um, I mean, he, I also had, he also had fun. multiple notes from various women in there. No, he didn't. It was from the same woman, Tyler. No, no. He had multiple notes from various women. 
do you know? Because I read one of them, and then I read another one, and then it had all of these different names on them, on the top of the box. You don't remember all the different names. I mean, I remember one, but that was it. Okay, so anyways, on the top of the... Oh, God, that's a scimitar warbird. On the top of it, it, it did end up being a very, very scary box because it had multiple names of w women who said oh. things like, I love you, or, you know, uh, th things along the lines of as if they had a very good time with Brandon. Uh, and, and anyways, it was a very scary box to open, and it, it, it just creeped me out very badly because I was, like, 13. Oh, that was so long ago. Yeah. It was terrifying, to say the least. I have to say, that was a lit story time. Uh, well, that's not all. Does anyone else have a story that they would wish to tell? Oh, I'd like to tell one Okay. about a drug warehouse. Oh, oh, what? Oh. oh, goodness, a drug warehouse. Oh, God. Dude, I have a lot of stories like this. Uh, but <laughs> being close to the border and having a lot of stories like this, I mean, like, seriously, bro. Don't call me bro. User disconnected oh, bro. from the channel. I'm sorry, my bad. Hey, remember what? Right, so, anyways, uh, <laughs> so go ahead, dude. All right, so. I was at my uncle's house. Whoever has something on User the joined your channel. That's Flakes. He always Flakes has off. stuff happening Flakes in the background. Flakes, turn it off. Jesus. It's loud. I'll just, uh... User was moved out of your channel. Thank you. Yeah, sorry, Flakes, but... It had happened. Okay, so I was at my uncle's house with some of my cousins. Uh... We ended up walking to a park that wasn't that far away. On our way there, we saw an abandoned building, or at least, like, it looked pretty abandoned. Like, we went inside of it, there was graffiti all over the place, and a whole bunch of satanic stuff that was really that, creepy. That, that, that explains, uh, th that, that would explain because it is an abandoned warehouse, and that usually happens there. Yeah, and, uh, so we started doing some, like, looking around for stuff, and we noticed that there was, like, a floor under it, with like a, a little doorway, and there was like a bunch of weed in there. Oh, and God. the thing they were doing were they like they were putting weed inside of Xbox game cases, and then they were throwing the games and breaking them. There was like broken Xbox games all over the place, and then they had like weed inside Xbox game cases. It was really weird. Uh, we saw one copy of Skyrim that actually looked pretty intact, and it's in my house right now. Uh, yeah, I stole that copy of Skyrim, but yeah, that was pretty cool, stealing a copy of Skyrim. Uh, we went outside from the basement and looked up, and we saw two cars, like, driving by really slowly that were just circling. And they were circling for, like, 30 minutes, and then eventually uh, we all just, like, walked off from that area. And, like, yeah, it was pretty scary, because the whole entire time I was thinking, what are the people in the car going to do? Yeah, yeah. We just like walked off, and then they right. went back up to the building. Uh, Flakes, do you have? Oh wait, Flakes is gone. Anyone else have anything? I have like a partial story. Okay. Well, time when me and you were talking, <laughs> your brother mm -hmm. was playing a video game and something like that, and then he was getting all mad, and you made you made some comment, and I don't even remember what it was to this day, but. You made some comment, and you had a full-on domestic dispute going on in the background while I was just sitting there <laughs> listening. Yeah, but we, we, <laughs> we have a few domestic <laughs> disputes. Hands were thrown and everything. <laughs> feelings uh, were hurt, happens. words were said. <laughs> no doubt his feelings. <sighs> um, Your yeah. ego. I got another one if you want to hear it. Go ahead, Houdini. Well, this one time at band camp. Oh, goodness. Band um, camp. We literally, if, you, if you've seen the American Pie movie. 
We literally had a guy parking over. I got a guy what? Parking over. He 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 parks. And how do you park an oboe? Pork. 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 I don't understand what you're saying. It's pork and oval? He did, he, did the, he, he did the naughty with the oval. Oh! oh. Ew! <laughs> what? Ew! <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, they had to call the ambulance. And so that was a wonderful story that camp was just ended that day because nobody could stand straight. Did did he? So wh oh, yeah. what 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 that did he fine. do again? No no no! Like what did he do again? He did the naughty with the <laughs> with the oboe. Uh, why why would you have sex with an oboe? No, he got his schlong stuck in the oboe. Well, I, I, that brings me oh, to a time where that I was watching. me of a story on like. I was watching TV, and I can't remember what it was. It was hilarious because what this guy had gotten his no, he he'd gotten his penis stuck inside of a uh, he was in a pool at a hotel, and he had gotten his he went he went out and liked oh, the feel a girl, of the jets. Was no, he liked the feel of the jets, so he stuck his oh. penis inside the jets for a quote unquote massage. And, uh, it, How do you it took, stumble upon this information? Uh, I can't remember. It was somewhere on YouTube, and it was the TV show on YouTube, and I was like, um... What, ridiculousness? No, it was something else. Uh, it was like, I don't know. I can't remember. It was hilarious, though. I, it, it really was funny because I was just, I was, wow. I, um... <laughs> Oh, that's like Untold Stories of the ER, where yes, some yeah. guy got his schlong yeah, stuck no, in a, not, stuck in a, um, works, he yeah. got it stuck in a, like a, you know, a camping grill, like one of those mobile little grill things. Oh How do you my god, that? yes. I've seen that episode. <laughs> but it's like, I mean, I, you know where the <laughs> thing is, right. bacon and you know, eggs, but Do you know where the knob is, right? So he took the knob off, like where you could get high or low, and put his schlong in there, and then it got stuck. Oh god! And yeah, this all makes his, me him and his girlfriend weird. were doing the nasty. Oh Jesus! <laughs> with <laughs> with the grill. I remember, and then oh, I, I thought Brandon was Wait, kinky. Sorry, guy, drink his own pee. <laughs> yes, I saw a Daddy. TV show where I saw this guy drink his own pee before. I, I and I thought my uh, older brother Brandon was me. kinky. <laughs> I, I really did. What'd you what? What'd you say, uh, Daddy? Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, did we bring Pope in here? He watched a uh, peanut right, cutting. I'm gonna finish yesterday. it. Okay. All right. So I finished um, something else. That is the uh, conclusion of story time, everyone. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, like, love, and subscribe to my wonderfully, amazingly beautiful channel that I basically manage on my own because nobody else will post videos. So, uh, see you guys later. Thanks for watching, and, uh, peace. Stay classy.